Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners Step by Step Guide to Process Simulation. In this tutorial, uh, let us understand uh, some important aspect. Uh, there is something called sizing of any of this equipment which is used in uh, process simulation. So, whenever you see, uh, you go to this particular uh, help or uh, uh, like uh, you were provided by the Super Pro, under the resources, there is something called as sizing. And whenever the sizing comes, uh, we come across two type of sizing. One is called as by design mode or rating mode. So what is this design mode basically? You can notice here, when assigning equipment resource to a newly created procedure, the program assumes that the size of an engaged equipment resource is not known. So it is not known, the equipment size is not known. So once you start feeding the material, once the process uh, is simulated, it basically calculate so for this flow rate of this uh, like uh, the, this flow rate of material what is the quantity of that particular equipment required with software try to calculate the size of that particular equipment and based upon the demand so uh, in some cases what happens maybe a fed batch process what is this fed batch if it is a batch just batch process easily the equipment sizing could be calculated for example you are uh, using 1000 kg of media then you can use only 90% of uh, the equipment, then 1000 uh, kg approximately the media density is equal to water, then uh, 1000 liters of uh, volume is required. And then what you try to do, if it is only 90% of this equipment is utilized, then 1000 divided by 0.9 you can easily understand, okay that much amount of volume is required to carry out the process. But in case of fed batch system, so once you charge some quantity of media, and some other quantity of media you are continuously feeding into the system. So, one end of the process only you can understand how much volume of that particular is reactor, rea volume of that reactor is basically required. Means, the basically the design mode indicates that software will try to estimate the volume or estimate the size of an equipment required to carry out the process. So, that technique is called as design mode. There is one more mode called as rating mode. So, on the other hand, on the other hand, when the user already knows the size of engaged equipment resource, he or she uh, knows that the hosting vessel has a given capacity or size dimension, then he or she needs to switch to the equipment rating mode. For example, sometimes you have a constraint, you have specific uh, equipment uh, like with uh, specific uh, sizes available, then you have to scale your process accordingly. So I have some 10,000 liter of reactor, then so all the things I should do according to the 10,000 liter. So I no need to restrict myself to only 10,000 liter. So accordingly you can do the calculations, you can have multiple 10,000 liter equipments, all these things could be done. So when it comes to equipment sizing, you can have something called as a design mode and a rating mode. So when you go to this uh, particular uh, uh, Super Pro software, and just I will uh, take an example of reactor. I will place it here. And if I right click on the equipment data, always you can notice by default there is something called as calculated. The size of a reactor is or size of that particular equipment, by default it will be design mode. So when this is in a design mode, you can notice there is something called as maximum volume. So uh, basically this maximum volume is kind of what is the maximum capacity of the reactor available in the market. So basically you need to work on that. So simulation can give you whatever value it is uh, like it calculates. but uh, it should be practical. Whenever you buy a reactor, is it practically pos possible to get that reactor volume? So uh, you can be in design mode. What you can do is you can fix the maximum volume. So based upon that, so, so initially you can notice by default this value will be 1000. Once the calculation, once the simulation is done, uh, based upon that this value will change. So I hope you understood the always we need to set the maximum value under the design mode we need to set the maximum value otherwise it becomes impractical if you are not giving the maximum value. So then software will calculate the volume. So if the volume the calculated volume based on the uh, process input exceeds this maximum volume then software will automatically have the multiple units. For example the calculated volume is something around 60,000 liter, 60,000 liter. Here the maximum volume is only 40,000 liter. Then what software does? Instead of like you cannot able to carry out that particular process. So what software does? You can have two reactors of something around 30,000 liter or 30,000 liter and you can have two equipments to carry out the process. And also you can have an option for example you can notice here maximum working volume is 90 percent and height to diameter ratio. All these specifications you can usually provide in the design mode.
in case of rating mode you can notice here for example i know how many uh, uh, equipments uh, sorry what is the size of my equipment i'll fix it here and all the other parameters also i can fix it and i can work out so in this uh, uh, like uh, uh, tutorial i'll show you just an example how this uh, sizing will happen let us take an example of aspirin production itself we have a lot of videos in this uh, tutorial series where which we employed aspirin production process and uh, we'll solve it and do the reactor sizing so i'll just uh, connect this particular stream and uh, the output i will rename this as uh, reactants and rename this as product okay so for aspirin production process we need to register the pure components so i have already registered them so you can go back to some of this uh, basic tutorials and you can understand the four pure components are required one is acetic acid acetic anhydride aspirin and salicylic acid acetic acid and acetic anhydride is already available in the database you can uh, add it here aspirin and salicylic acid is not available so we need to register them as a pure components and add all the we need to register them as a pure component and add, add all the required uh, details so let us assume something like this uh, i will take in a uh, kilo mole i'll assume something around 500 kilo mole per batch is flowing that is the ingredients are acetic anhydride and salicylic acid are the two ingredients so around uh, 50 mole percent and 50 mole percent is entering so uh, basically the overall flow rate is uh, 500 kilo mole per batch and each contain 50 percent so click ok and uh, we need to add the operations batch operations i need to charge the reactants i need to heat the reactants i need to uh, carry out the uh, reaction that is using stoichiometric because kinetic information is not there you can go with stoichiometric and transfer out the content so this is basically four operations we'll assume simple operations and we go to the first operation called as charge in this charge operation uh, we need to charge the reactants how much we already set it in the stream so user amount on the stream rest all we go with the default values once you charge it we need to heat it so in the previous example we understood we need to heat it to 350 kelvin 350 kelvin using the stream rest all we go with the default values and even the uh, reaction heating time is 15 minutes and heating rate 1 degree per centigrade will go with default value and again the reaction uh, uh, temperature we select kelvin and 350 kelvin will select and we uh, you, if it is cooling is required you can use chilling water in this case heating so we'll use the steam as an heating agent and uh, the reactions so here the we'll assume 100 percent conversion we need to add the reaction that is acetic anhydride sorry this is acetic anhydride plus salicylic acid gives aspirin plus acetic acid so mass wise also both the side it is balanced molar wise also one mole of acetic anhydride plus one mole of uh, salicylic acid gives you one mole of aspirin plus one mole of acetic acid so both the side it is balanced click okay so the next operation next operation is transfer out operation this is the product stream we are completely transferring out so so all the required information we fed into the system so let us first go with the design mode so i'll just copy this whatever uh, i have initiated the stream i'll just copy it here and i will paste it so because the same information i know need to feed again and again so i'll just copy it, the contents there you can notice here now this particular uh, procedure uh, uh, the id uh, and also the equipment id is uh, changed and this is also changed we will just uh, uh, rename this rename this as reactants uh, one if i give same reactants again it will not take i'll just give reactants one and this is uh, products uh, two products two so i'll just add the title for uh, i'll add the title for easy understanding this is a design mode this is design mode this is design mode we'll change the font size So this one I'll copy here and rename this as 
rating mode rating mode so let us understand what it is in this case if you go to equipment data as i already told uh, this is maximum volume uh, set is 4 uh, for the 40000 liter and initially it will be 1000 liter it will change the post calculations and also in this case i will just go to equipment data and i will select rating mode and you can notice initial volume is uh, 1000 liter definitely 1000 liter is not sufficient to carry out the process just i will assume it something around uh, uh, 10000 liter i will assume it as 10000 liter that's what the equipment uh, i assume that it is that's what it is available with me that is 10000 liter click okay uh, now uh, let us simulate it because here also we have added all the information charge everything we added you can notice here by default it will take all the information is added so let us simulate it yes you can notice uh, here uh, the p1 uh, reactor operation requires cooling but steam is selected so as it is a, it may, is an exothermic reaction i go to a react operation here i need to select the cooling water cooling water click ok the same thing should be done for uh, the another reactor also can notice here uh, the reactions operating conditions cooling is cooling water is required click ok solve this so that error disappeared and but you can notice one more thing here uh, basically you can one more symbol appear uh, for example just i will uh, change this to 250 uh, kilo mole 250 kilo mole per watt and i'll try to simulate and you can notice that is disappeared why it is disappeared i'll go to equipment data equipment data you can notice the maximum volume which i set is 40000 liter but according to the input of 250 kilo mole per batch the required volume is 10 20, 27404 liter so it is under the like uh, limit of whatever i am assuming like 40000 liter initial volume it is basically meeting that requirement which is less than the maximum volume and also you can notice one more thing whenever you go to the reactions whenever you go to this particular reaction operation there is something called as volumes you can set it basically maximum allowable volume is 90 percent minimum allowable means when you want to carry out any reaction that there should be minimum volume should be there for example you are adding like you have an agitator your that agitator should reach that particular liquid that should be minimum without minimum volume you cannot carry out the process when there is no minimum volume also the software will show the error or it will show you the warning stating that there is no minimum volume required to carry out the process so you can set the maximum minimum volume so based upon the process inputs it is calculated something around 20000 27000 liter of reactor is uh, required so maximum allowable volume i have given around 40000 liter there is no issues if i change this particular uh, input to, to 5, 5 uh, 500 kilo mole per batch now you can calculate it and you can notice that uh, the multiple equipment symbol is appearing here. Why it is coming like this? You can go to this equipment data. You can notice here uh, the whenever the, the flow rate is increased to 5000 kilo mole per hour. So one equipment could not able to carry out the process. That also you could able to understand whenever you double click on this particular product. You can notice almost 60,000 kg per batch is coming out. It is nothing but 47,000 liters are coming out based on that you can calculate the reactor volume also so our maximum volume is 40000 liter so required is 47000 the coming out of this particular reactor is 47000 so obviously you cannot able to carry out the process in 40000 40, liter reactor so that is the reason the software by default assumes so we need two reactors to carry out this particular process so that is what it gives you the multiple uh, uh, units but in case of your rating mode in case of your rating mode in this case also we have assumed something around 500 uh, liter 500 kilo mole per batch what it says that the final working volume to the uh, vessel volume ratio is 475.6 percent is greater than the maximum allowable volume of 90 percent means for example when i go to this equipment data i have set around 1000 liter uh, sorry 10000 liter reactor and you can notice here uh, the output is again same something around 47000 liter of uh, 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 reaction mixture is coming out means almost you can understand the basic calculation the reactor five reactors is obviously required you cannot carry out uh, this particular volume in one reactor of 10000 liter 
that is the reason when you go to this particular rating mode particular rating mode uh, when you select rating mode this number of units will get activated so in this case approximately i required five units click ok and i try to do the material balance and you can notice again it is showing 95 percent is more is required because and uh, only i in each reactor i can use only 90 percent working volume now uh, working volume is 90 percent only i can utilize the 90 percent of the reactor maybe five reactors are not sufficient i can go and change it to six reactors click ok and try to simulate it now this uh, particular error is disappeared so i hope you understood so when it is in a design mode we reset the maximum uh, volume working volume or maximum volume of that particular reactor is available based on that software does the calculation and if it is more than the maximum allowable volume definitely try to assign the multiple equipments in the rating mode what we try to do here also we prescribe the uh, 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 volume of the reactor is available based on the calculation you can have multiple equipment so for example you have only 10000 liter then definitely you need to have the five or six reactor of 10000 liters to carry out this particular process so hope you understood so in upcoming problems where we come across equipment sizing based on different criteria we will definitely use this option so basically your uh, simulation results will not vary you can notice here you're going to get the same uh, uh, simulation output but equipment sizing is done in different ways thank you for watching uh, please do not forget to subscribe